Hello again everyone, Deflect here for Fair Gaming. I want to bring you a video on add-ons. Add-ons can do so much in World of Warcraft and they are something that is not mandatory but they definitely help out a lot. But if you haven't done so already, hit subscribe to the channel, like, share, comment below and I want to get into some of the add-ons that I use in the game. Uh, number one add-on I use is Plater, as you can see the enemy mob. Uh, is displayed different and it's just typed with slash plater and you can bring up the details now I switch to color threat and I use a color threat on my tanks differently but when I have aggro it's red when I have low aggro it's yellow and no aggro is blue and uh, yeah that's the way I always do it for my tank setup but you can do anything with color threats uh, but some general settings you'll want to have on is Stacking nameplates. So when you have a bunch of enemies, all the nameplates are going to stack on each other. And you will also have to uh, do this in Plater because it does not automatically set it up. Is go to auto and then click the auto area where you want the auto toggle stacking nameplates. Uh, even if you click stacking nameplates, sometimes this takes over and won't actually stack them. So that is one thing you want to do. Plater, very, very good. Uh, as you can see over here, details is another one I use. There's a, also a damage meter for recount uh, you can use as well. But uh, either is good, and basically it just shows the damage you're doing, and you can switch it to do a whole bunch of different things. Uh, you can do it to show interrupts. You can do it to show healing. You, you know, it's just really good to see uh, when you go into the details about it. You can see what you damage you did with what ability, where was your highest ability, and you can switch up and do different things. Uh, we can see what's being kicked. If you want to see, you know, interrupts, you can go to interrupts. Uh, you can go to healing done. You can go to deaths, and that's all for the overall or for each. Um, uh, overall or for the current segment as well so it can be set up multiple ways very good for that it's always nice to see uh, what's going on in that perspective so you can see overall interrupts I kicked them one time uh, healing done I did 382 healing not very much because he doesn't do a lot of damage but different things like that I have it set up to so see di uh, damage right at the current damage overall healing overall uh, the other ones you can set up and do uh, very, very thorough. And uh, you can go into deaths and see what you died. And if you click on it, it will actually give you in-depth on all the abilities you used and what caused what percentage of your damage. So very good one to have. Uh, another one that I'm sure if you're running Mythic Plus, you already use, and that is DBM or Big Wig slash Little Wigs. Uh, DBM just gives you uh, mechanics. It gives a bell if you have to move out of an area. It tells you not to stand in this. It tells you an upcoming uh, place is coming, so don't get shelter. Upcoming AOE, get out of there. Stuff like that. It's a very good, uh, very good dungeon mechanic. So DBM, Deadly Boss Mod, uh, definitely get that as well. So uh, moving on, to the next one is uh, Angry Keystone. Angry Keystone is a great one to have. Uh, basically. It allows you to do uh, a few things with your keystone. It just makes it so when you're running a dungeon, it gives you the plus key. So if you're in a two plus, it gives you a timer. It gives you a timer for three plus. It just makes your time key that much better. It's just a little interface. It goes in your top right when you're running keys. You can see how much time is left on your current key, how much time is left on plus two, and then it goes up, you know, from plus three to plus two, and then if you're over time and such. So it's a good one to get, and that is Angry Keystone. The other one to get is Astral Keys. If you're running a lot of keys, you can see what your friends have done, you can see what your guild has done, you can see your weekly best, you can see the keys you have on your current guys, It uh, you can see the affixes for the week. It's a very good one to have, and then if you type in, um, <coughs> excuse me, guild or party chat, if you type exclamation mark keys k-e-y-s it will give a list of everyone with also astral keys and what key they have they're really good when you're running a lot of dungeons so as astral key great great uh add-on to get my next one is mdt mythic dungeon tool um very very uh useful when you're doing keys you can plan routes 
Uh, you can do a lot of different things in it. You can see your percentage. You can build a road around your percentage. You can see this one is currently still the lieutenant. So you can see the lieutenants, which uh, where they are, what they're going to do. And it looks like they actually just took them out now for the upcoming uh, release on Tuesday. So you can see now the new affix, the relic, and what where they are. So it's a very useful tool to have, especially because you have to hit the 100% mark so you can plan your route around it and which packs you should take. And uh, you know, if you're not taking that pack, what pack you can skip. And if you do skip, you can go and quickly select a different pack. So Mythic Dungeon Tool, you can import routes, you can export your routes, uh, works very well. I know on Raider IO they put up routes as well, so in the news you can import the Raider IO routes if you like. You can customize them to your liking. So that is Mythic Dungeon Tool, highly recommend that to get that while you're running a lot of M+. Uh, the next one is just a really easy one to get. It's it's just a convenience one. It's I use Cell Trash. There's a whole bunch of other ones like Cell Junk, I believe. Just called Cell Trash. And all it does is when you get garbage or junk items in your inventory, you'll see a junk item. As soon as you click on a vendor, it automatically sells it. That's all it does. Um, pretty easy to use. Pretty mindless. You don't even have to think about it. It only sell, sells trash items you can't use anyway. So it works out very well. For you not having to think and you making money. Uh, the other thing to set up is uh, if you like raid frames, I'm going to show you two options here uh, depending on what you like for the next one. Uh, this is a raid frame. This is really just raid frames, that is all. And you can use uh, big wigs with this. So if you do big wigs and raid frames, you can actually have them. And I'll show you in big wigs in a second. <clears throat> Sorry, it's not big wig. It's. Um, Oh, sorry, it is definitely not big wigs. It is big debuffs. Big debuffs is the one I was looking for. Big wigs is like uh, your deadly boss mod. So it's big debuffs, and the debuffs you can see on your left hand side. Uh, you can set it up so it goes left instead of right, or left instead of in the middle here. And you can do a lot of mouse overs with your raid frames here. Uh, so if you want to move your raid frames, it's very easy. You, oops, I'm going into my macros here. Uh, you'll just go into your interface and down to read profile and then you select how many people in the group to ready to get it going. If you want to see the power bars, your mana bars and all that, you can change the frame height and the frame width to whatever you like. <coughs> Excuse me. And you can uh, set it up more customized so if you just want a PvP or PvE. You can set where you want it. You can unlock your frames move them around wherever you like if you like them over to your left if you like them to your right if you want them up high if you want them beside your bars it just depends on how you like it and where you would like to move them to very useful if you like using mouse over macros for it you mouse over your macro and use it here if you want to double up your keybinds without using mouse over macros for this voodoo is a very good one to get. V-U-H-D-O. The reason you can use Voodoo, or I use Voodoo, I personally use it, because it is built in mouse overs and you can set up the same keys to do different things. So you can use a key, say my C, uh, my C key is Soothe if I'm over an enemy. If I go over here, I can use my C key for cleanse. <coughs> so I don't have to change anything. It actually has both keys built in and it's only if you're mousing over the frame here now it can be a pain if you're mousing over and you want to use a different key and your key just happens to be clicking on it but you'll get used to that and this is the one i prefer it's uh, just i find having double the keys is very useful and they are built in like you can use your left key and your right button on your mouse so that is also very nice when you're doing it button four and five on mouses and you can add shift modifiers control the whole bit here, very good to use. I'm gonna make a full video on it because it is such a good add-on I like. Um, you can show the debuffs that you can uh, purge and everything as well. Mine actually turned the bar completely uh, blue. So if someone has a removable curse I can take off my druid, it uh, goes blue and I just click on their name with the C key and away it goes. Um, so I can add, you know, 
we grow through the right button. I can use the other uh, abilities I have, and then I have it set up to use the actual icon, so I know what's on each person as well. <clears throat> so Voodoo is a very good one, especially I find as a druid. That way I can have just a whole bunch of mouse overs built in with the same keybinds as I have for everything else. Now getting on to the last two, the last two I think are, I would say the most important. One is minimap button bag. Um, just because if you have all these icons on your mini minimap, it's horrendous. So <laughs> trying to get these around with your dungeon icon and your queue icon and all that stuff was just painful when you have this many without mini map button bag. So that one is highly recommended. I know it's not Mythic Plus specific, but it is quality of life specific. Let's put it that way. And the last one I'm going to get into is weak auras. Weak auras are your best, absolute number one must have add on if you are getting a single add on. It is bar none the best thing you can get in the game. Weak auras can do anything from track your cooldowns to boss cooldowns to timers to kicks. Everything you can think of is in the game. Go to Wagio, Wagio.io, Wagio. Just type in weak auras in your search bar um, and it will come up. It is very, very useful. It's Wagio.io, W A G O.io. It will bring you up with any weak or you can think of. It's probably already out there. <clears throat> that is what this is actually. It's a weak or it will track uh, blood barrier, it will check, track bark skin, iron fur, survival instinct. So if I'm going to be here and I hit survival instinct, I can show how long I have left on my survival insti instinct. My bark skin, that's how long my bark skin is going to last. And you can have weak ores for anything you like. I'm going to show you one because I put a giant health bar up. This is another weak aura. This is for when I'm tanking and I don't really want to pay attention to my health bar because I mainly got it for this reason. Blood spattered scale adds the actual scale <coughs> buff you get from it on the end. And that way I can tell what I have on the end, how much is left. And then I can see where it's going to wear out up here with the timer, so um, very, very good. You can see my ravenous one as well for her six. <clears throat> so you can see I have a 12 second left on her six for absorbing. Uh, that pops up to the left, that is another weak aura. I run a ton of weak auras, they make it so much easier uh, with this. Uh, I run a ton on almost all my characters. On Feral, I have a weak aura to follow the Blood Talons. On my Demon Hunter, I have another one to uh, follow pretty much the same bar for my defensives. I run my uh, HP on the bottom just so I can see it when I'm tanking. I don't have to really pay attention. Could I make it smaller? Yes, I could. Do I want to? No. Aggressively big makes my life easier. <laughs> um, but there's a whole bunch you can get and it's just full. I want a kick one as well. So Zen Tracker actually tracks kicks, what's available in the dungeon so you can call out who's kicking next. Uh, and that is another thing you can do as well. But like I said, there's weak auras for everything in the game. If you get one, just one add-on, get weak auras. Uh, it is by far the best add-on you can get. And again, go to wago.io. W-A-G-O dot I-O, and you can find for your class specific, you can find general ones, you can find ones for dungeons, for raids, whatever you need will be there. Do you have any questions or you'd like some in-depth uh, discussion on certain add-ons, please let me know in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe. This was Deflect, Firm at Fair Gaming. We'll see you in the next video.